Alrighty, good morning. It's Nana JL54 Janet. People, people, people. Um, I know I left you on a cliffhanger about the basket. Um, it's not a big story, but um, it, it's to me it was like um, these things. I don't know. These things are like little oddities, baskets like baskets like this, or just kind of odd things. And usually those odd things are expensive. So I, you know, when when I'm not in the mood to spend a lot of money on an item, I wasn't really in the mood to spend a lot of money. I just wanted a couple, you know, we wanted to stop and get doilies and, you know, some little tchotchkes. So when I walked in the thrift store, I saw that it was, they had like a shelving and I saw it on the side, on the bottom. And the first thing I do when I walk into a thrift store is I in the front door at the door I just start surveying the territory and because I would have to get a lay of the land and I have to see okay this okay the glassware is over here and this is over there so um so that's this is the first thing I saw so but I walked past it because I figured you know that is darn stinking cute but it's probably like too much so let me go in here and see if I can find something so I found you know the things that I found and um <clears throat> On the way out, I had spent like, I think I spent like $9 on, you know, little little things. And I said, you know what? I said, excuse me, but how much is that little basket down there? And he goes, what basket? And I said, well, that one, the one, the shopping cart. And I went over and I picked it up and I looked at it. And he goes, it has a price on it, I think. And I looked at it and I showed you it had a $40 price tag on it. And I said, it's, and I didn't even walk away from the shelf with it. I kind of like stood by the shelf and I said, it says $40. And he goes, and Marlene goes, I don't think it's, yeah, it says $40. And, um, and, um, he goes, I said, that's gotta be a mistake, right? And he goes, yeah. And I thought he was going to say $20 or something like that. And he goes, I think it's supposed to be four dollars and I was like four dollars and he said yeah four dollars I put it up on the counter so fast <laughs> I know he was like what? I was like well ring me up sir <laughs> so he, he did <laughs> so I got it for four dollars I, I mean I really can't even believe I would have paid twenty dollars for it it's cute it's heavy it's a it's a shopping cart it's a shopping cart for a chihuahua <laughs> so anyway that's that story I have to move along here and then um, when I came home, I had a, an order from Two Peas waiting for me and a Flowers to Flourishes. So I'll show you my Flowers to Flourishes first. And this is so pretty. I got this, and it is so pretty when you look at it. Look at the detail. I can't wait to cut this out. I got that Flowers to Flourishes. I, I love that site. I really do love that site. Those people are awesome. Okay, and then let me put this over here because I didn't get that there. Okay. I got from two peas in a bucket. I have been looking all over and I keep missing it. And so I got it. Um, and then this was on sale and I got it too. Okay. I w I've wanted the Maya Road Cameo chipboards. So I got the cameos aren't showing in this one. Let me see. Well, I'm not going to take it apart because I have too much to show you. And then this one was the silhouettes, the portrait uh, mini chipboards. I wanted those. So I got those. I had to order them. Um, I found them in one place, and um, and when I went back to get them, they didn't have them anymore. And then this, I believe this, yeah, this is the one with the little dress forms in it, but the dress forms are in the back. And I wanted this, so I got, I got, um, did I get two? Two of those. So cute. Yeah, I got two of those. So I got those from Two Peas in a Bucket. I didn't get too much from them. And, but it was all, it was $28 for those four little, th one, two, three, one two, three, four. For those four things, and then these two patina embossing powders, um, was $28. A lot of money for stuff, but I wanted it, and you know. Okay, so I got that. Okay, patina. Um, all right. So then while I was in, when we were in, um, in, uh, there's supposed to be, there was supposed to be a really nice um, scrapbooking store in downtown Daytona. So we went to downtown Daytona and it was, it closed up and it closed, it moved, and then it closed up for good. So that's very sad. Another local, you know, scrapbook store closed. So then, um, so then we went ahead and went to Michael's. We went to Hobby Lobby. What did I get at Hobby Lobby? Let me, let me do Hobby Lobby first. I mixed everything up. 
Okay, I mixed everything up. So anyway, so I went to Hobby Lobby and Michael's, and I'll show you what I got. And I didn't have coupons. I had one coupon on my phone, and I let my cousin use it because she was buying an ATG gun. So anyway, I got... And then I shopped with my... My sister sold a bunch... My other sister, my, my twin sister, sold a bunch of her uh, card making and scrapbooking stuff. And so I bought some stuff from her because she sent a bag, uh, two bags of stuff. Okay, so let me show you. Hobby Lobby. I got this trim. It was 50% off. Got that trim. I got this trim. I got this trim and I got this trim I probably have like I probably already have these two trims but um you know when you when you don't have a Hobby Lobby and you go in there and you get to go in you forget what you have and you just start grabbing stuff so and this Hobby Lobby was not big at all and it didn't have a whole lot so this is all I could get I would have got more but I didn't have so anyway so then for my sister I'll show you what I bought for my sister oh let's see no, I didn't get that at Hobby Lobby. Okay, let me show you what I bought for my sister. <laughs> I bought hemp. I bought red liner tape, red liner tape. I got glue dots, or not, you know, the dots, yeah, the dimensional dots. I got, um, oh, I, I'm sorry, I got Sculpey Clay at Hobby Lobby, and I got um, bales at a Hobby Lobby. Um, oh, and I got glitter and a matchbox that doesn't have matches and it has a notepad and a corner chomper, a little corner chomper. So that's what I got for my sissy. Yep. And then um, I paid six bucks for all that stuff. I got a deal. Oh, and I got this and I got this refill for my, um, my little, you know, click it gun. Dymo maker. Dymo, Dymo. Oh, and I got sanding blocks from her, too. All right. So then at um, Michael's, I think, I got fishnet to cut pieces off to, you know, and I used it on my, my gift for my Aunt Betty. I got a two-pack canvas set, one of them I left with Aunt Betty. And um, I bought paper, and uh, the paper I used on my... I only bought two sheets of paper. Is that wild? I bought this paper... And use the wood grain paper that the entire piece went on the... Oh, no, the entire piece didn't. Here's a little... Here's a piece of the wood grain paper. And I bought swirls that I didn't use. I bought these recollection swirls that I didn't use. I took them out, and I thought I would use this as a wave. But it didn't look right with what I was doing with the page, so... And now they're all farkle. Um, and then... Oh, and I bought these. These are Creative Imaginations narratives, and I used the other half of this this thing here to, for the title on the thing that I made my auntie. And I bought grunge paper at Michael's. And I got I bought another glue gun because we needed a glue gun. And then come to find out, I bought the wrong bag the size of glue sticks. I bought a big bag of the wrong size. But my cousin Kurt was there, so I gave him the bag of glue sticks because it fit his glue gun because Kurt to the rescue. We didn't have scissors, so he gave us scissors. We didn't have glue sticks, so he gave us glue, uh, his glue gun with, you know, so that was great. He saved us. Um, and then I got a Distress Ink. I think now this is my third one because I get out of town and I want to do a project and I want Distress Ink and I don't have it, so I have to go buy it. I got a little thing of Mod Podge to, you know, glue the paper down to the canvas. And I bought some paint. Let's see. I bought Basics Paint. This is a pretty color. This is Burnt Umber, I think. Burnt Umber. Raw Sienna. Raw Sienna. And I bought these two. They, these were on sale, so I bought these two blues. Um, and that's it. That's it. That's, that's all she wrote. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So that was my little shopping cart story, and that was my shopping story, and that's it, and um, now I have to go get busy. We have to transfer some stuff into the new motorhome, then we have to transfer the old motorhome to where the new motorhome is so that we can work on the old motorhome so we can get it sold. Anybody want to buy a used motorhome? Let me know. Love you. Bye.